Hello everyone and welcome back to my um to my channel. So on this so like I said in the previous video, we are moving on from GTA Online and we so I will come back to doing some GTA Online because I've seen um, I had a lot of love for for that. So I will be playing that a so I will be playing that a little bit more. But for now, we are going to do the new DLC for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is called The Siege of Paris. Yeah, so we are going to do this. So, um, let's get into this, and because um, it's been a little bit while, as you can see, I have clocked up a lot of hours on this game. I'm on 120 hours, 20 minutes, and 25 seconds. So yeah, I have clocked up a lot of hours. So you will see that my Avor is um, quite leveled up. There he is. He's my Avor. I've got Maomir and I've also got um, Odin's Spear. There we go. Mastery challenge is available. This is how long I haven't played it. I'm getting all of these come up. But, but for, only for those who have mastered the first river raid in that bat. That's it. That's a problem with me. They bring a feast and build their own guest house. These are very generous guests. My love. They are very generous guests. I want to see the alliance map. And as you can see, I'll just show you all. I have comp Okay. So as you can see, I have completed all of the um Alliance quests as well. I should go. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. I guess we're going to move straight into a cutscene. Here we go. Avon! You have arrived just in time! Is it Siegerblood already? The days are long, and the nights are warm and lit with fires. And it marks the beginning of raiding season. <laughs> we still need to finish gathering offerings for the gods, so we can earn their favor. With their blessing, we will have calm waters, good winds, and much bounty. Gunnar must be busy forging weapons and armor. Yes. He asked to bring in an extra set of helms. Svinta has already set up her forge by the training ground. But weapons are not the only tools of war, Eivor. You must train your mind as you train your body. You get to see what this mind training will look like. I would show you around, but I need to get my offering ready for the bonfire. Check around the settlement to see what's needed. Perhaps you can make yourself useful. <laughs> Am I not already useful? Oh, be sure to say hello to Norbert. But first, take this torch and mark the beginning of the festival. So this festival actually finishes on the 19th. I should have actually played it before and um, done some of the festivals. I don't think I'm going to get all of the... Um, I'm not, so I don't think I'm going to get all of the stuff for it. Which is a bit, uh, which is a bit of a shame. A new armor set is available. I like that lightning bolt, that was cool. Oh, no. What on the earth was that? What in the nine realms was that? Right. It's been that long, I forgot how to run and everything. So we have a lot going on. <laughs> a challenge from the gods. After witnessing something fall from the sky, I've met some mysterious old lady who claims to know a secret form of training that she is willing to share. Strangers bringing gifts for the arriving raiders will bring suspiciously gifts from Francia. Francia, as you will know, it help help them the new So Francia, as you will know, is um. Where's the barrel of meat, friend? 
A seer warned me of a vision she had where I was a frog drowning in a vat of mead. Haven't... So instead, you're guarding empty pens. I was hoping no one would notice, but the pigs I bought for the offerings got... I see where this is going. You want me to find and kill the pigs and... What? No, no. They need to be alive for the offerings. And how would I go about doing that? The farmer I bought them from said that if you whistle, they will come running. If they trust you, they will follow you. This feels like an errand for a child. Please, Eivor. Nordid gave me some of his tokens. They're yours if you bring back the pigs. Very well, Bron. Thank you, Eivor. Alright, where's these pigs? Here, piggy! I forgot how to whistle. This looks right. like the crashed pig cart. Tracks show they ran into the forest. Here they are. Now to whistle and hope they trust me. I forgot how to do this. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. Uh, I just need to... <laughs> you would think, after playing 120 hours, I'll just remember it off the top of my head. But... No. Because it's been quite a while since I last played it. Uh, how to... Whistle... In Assassin's Creed... Valhalla. Another stealth tip. By hitting left on the D pad. Left. Oh. I wonder how the farmer trained the pigs to follow a whistle. There we go, just like that. I guess. So, um, we need to do this, and then after this, um, you get some special equipment. So, you get some special armor, you may get a special weapon. I'm not 100% sure. So, but, um, yeah. So we're just going to do this for a little bit. Whilst, but before I do this, let me show you some of the things that I actually have because, yeah, I have quite a lot of stuff. So, we have Excalibur, which you can get by completing, um, by getting the ancient stone relics. Um, I got this from, where did I get that from? I brought that with the tokens. That again, I brought with the tokens. Again, brought with tokens. Uh, Stuttering Claw, I've upgraded. Varna's Axe is the first axe you receive in the game. Uh, Gale Borg is um, in the DLC for the Wrath of the Druids. You have to complete a certain mission and then you get that. Gungir is um, Odin's sword, so you get that. Uh, Mip. Milmir is um, also... As you all know, Milmir is a very famous weapon for a certain four. So this is four's, um, so this is four's um, weapon. But um, I will show you later on how to get um, four's weapon and things like that. Um, everything else doesn't really matter. We have um, Ra the Raven Clan shield, but that can't be really upgraded. Um, we have Saint George's Tower shield, um, ceremonial seats. St. George's Sword. So some of these swords you can only get from, um, like these ones, you can get from the River Raids. I think also um, Hugh Clahaim, you can also get from the River Raids. They're also from the, only available from the River Raids. We have Thor's, uh, I have Thor's Battle Plates. Uh, we have, I've upgraded some of these as well. I have the Egyptian Armor, which you can get from, um, the new DLC and uh, from the DLC in Wrath of the Druids, same with um, same with the uh, um, Braxidine Greek armor, and also the Dublin Champion armor is also that as well. Celtic armor, as well, is also something you get from the previous one. Then I've also got Ezio's outfit, and I've got Basim's outfit as well, which you can get from the Ubisoft store. Same with Altair's, you can get them all from the Ubisoft store. Um, and then Saint George's armor is also from the River Raids. Um, so, yeah, I, I am not, I'm not doing too bad, to be fair, with all of my weapons. Um, I like to use, um, Odin's spear. Alright, so it's 
spear, yeah. So I like to use Odin's spear and um, the axe, and then I've also got the skill where, when used, you can swift, you can um, swap, you can. I need your eyes, my friend. You can swap them over, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, go back. Hello. Oh, well. Come on, Biggie. There's one back returned. So we'll just go through this and stuff. So this is Ravensthorpe. So base. So this is the area where you first come in, and um, basically, yeah. And basically, this is the first. This is the um, first town you. This is um, the first place you come to when you um, come into England. Uh, where's the pig? I don't know. Um, and this is the first place you come into. Um, and you basically build up your community. So Ravensthorpe is your own community. And you basically build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. And yeah, there he is. Come on, pig. It's like you don't want to be offered up to the gods. It's an honor, I assure you. Here we go, take the pig back. Um, yeah, so um, also, what the... So also, the um, Vikings came from Norway. And they always believed in the Norse mythology of gods. So they believed in the likes of Odin. They believed in the likes of Thor, things like that. Oh, um, so that's what they believed. So they, so they was loyal to them sorts of gods. The gods. So they were. So in the Norse mythology, you had Odin, you had Loki, you had Thor, you had Freya, you had all of these sort of um, gods, and that's what they. And that's who they believed in, basically. Come on, come on, Biggie, and um, yeah, and then they done the, and then they wanted to invade Eng, they wanted to invade England for what I believe is supremacy. They wanted to show that basically Vikings were the sub Vikings and the Norwegians were like a superior race. So they also invaded England, they invaded Ireland, they also invaded um, France. So yeah, so there was a lot that they did to basically invade and um. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this is, and I also have a lot of um, uh, cosmetics that I can put in as well. So I have um, some archery targets, I have a hunter well, I have Roman thing, I have some Roman, I have some Roman things, I have a meat barrel, a weapon rack, um, I have a material, I have a Victorian statue, I have um, this Celtic mossy tombstone, I have a small altar, a berserker beer totem, iron brazier, a Roman bar statue. Odin with the statue, the Berserker practice, Berserker Arsenal. So I got the Berserker stuff um, when um, I actually got the game. So um, they came as a like a um, free limited edition thing when you got the game. So they so they were good. Um, yeah. Um, so I got so I got all so I got all of that. Um, yeah. So I got all of that, and then we have a sacrifice altar. Uh, and then we also have a cozy fire pit, an unmade steel, an, um, an, an, an Anubis statue, um, the Pyreus lion, and the horses of St. Mark. So, you will remember the Anubis um, statue from another game. I'm going to use this anyway. From um, the game Assassin's Creed Origins. So, also in that game, there was also a person... The jaw thinking hole, drinking well where you can find and recruit the best jaw thinking warriors. Okay. Um, so there was also, I want to get to, where do I want to go to? I want to go to. Nope. Nope. Uh, where is it? Nope. 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 It's around there somewhere. Let's go over here. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to come over here and show you this. Um, so yeah, so there was a, so there's a little Easter egg and a little gimmick. Um, also have the horse sitting there. Um, so there's a little um, Easter egg referring to Bayak of um, Siwa, and basically how one of these people here he is um, is basically travelled the world and seen a lot of different people. So this, so this is where as well if you have. Um, Opal, this is what it's called, then you can, for a certain price, you can buy certain objects. So, for example, 
Um, I can buy the George Blade and use that and increase my poison damage and stuff. So I can buy that, which is 120. I have 142. And then you also have the daily selection as well and so forth and so forth. Um, so, yeah. I must be so on my this way is... now. Goodbye. See you later. So that's Reader. And so when you complete a certain quest, you will read the Hidden Ones letter. And as you would all remember, if you are a fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise, then you will all know that the Hidden Ones were set up by Bayek and also his wife, A. Um, Aya. Might have got that wrong. Might have got that wrong. Aya. Um, so, yeah. So, and then you will hear this. Oh. A warning, my beloved. I have heard numerous tales now of a secret codex circulating among the acolytes of our bureaus, both within and without the Empire of Augustus, called the Magus Codex. It names you directly as one of the founders of the Hidden Ones, apart from putting your life in danger. It flies in the face of what we have tried to achieve with our brotherhood. We are justice seekers who shun the light of praise for our good works and who must live in the shadows of our triumphs. Should you see any pages of this Codex, I advise you to destroy them. Keep the dream of our Hidden Ones alive. Oh, I am not so naive to think this will be a simple task. Few men and women are suited to keeping such secrets for so long. And it may be that we will fail in the end, but we will have failed in the name of righteousness. Take care, my love. My Iset. My northern star. Even in my waning years, I am ever your Osiris. Let our Horus live on beyond us. I think of you often, my jewel. At sunrise and twilight. At new moon and full. When the rain falls and the breath of a moon rides across my neck. I remember you kissing me. Just there. And I will take that feeling to my tomb. So, as you may all know, that, everyone, is the voice of Bayek. Um, and basically, this guy has travelled everywhere and seen everyone. So he has this letter given to him from Bayek. It's not actually said in this. In, it's not actually said that that's what actually happens. I'm just assuming because I think that is what happens. Because how else would he receive what that letter? Um, and then if you speak to this lady oh, as well, what's your point when you touch yeah. So if you speak to this lady as well in the shop, she also um give you some ingots, oh, some other so things and stuff and like that. Battles. Some um. Uh, some more settlements, some more tattoos, some more hair and beard customizations as well. And then you can also sell some of your runes that you don't use to her. You get some more money and you can also sell some trinkets. All of the trinkets that I've actually kept are all things that I've actually achieved, I've actually got from Quest. And I don't feel, and I feel like I can't actually get, um, I can't lose them. I know some of them are worth quite a bit, but I'm not losing them because I think they're just quite sentimental. Um, so, yeah. So they're all things that I've achieved from my quest. Um, and then in the skill menu as well, we have a lot of new skills. <laughs> oh my days, I've, oh, Golden Bennett. So we've got a lot of leveling up to do. So, as you can see, my mastering points as well has also, and I focus more on the wolf mastery, which slightly increases range damage, range resistance, and health. Uh, bear mastery, increase your melee damage, your melee resistance, and your health. And also, the raven mastery increases your assassination damage, your vision, and health. So, I'm going to give one to that, and also one to this. Um, so, yeah, so I've completed the whole, I've completed the skill board, and everything like that, so it just gives you certain skills, everything like that. Um, Raven's loot, you loot from target skills from range attacks, assassin cry. So, what's this one? Mounted archer, even can use their bow abilities while mounted. Ooh, even when I pick up nearby loot with quick flick of the wrist. Ooh. Um, so the new side that's been added is this side. At the end of this, you get a thrill of war. Vargas live for the, live for the fight, gain adrenaline as long as you remain in conflict. Huh, 
Nice. Um, and then the other ones are this one. When at le when less than third of your health, hold for partial healing. Oh, that's a good one. When in combat, other sprints become unblockable. Nice. And then what's this one? Fight with increasing fury as death draws near. Your damage increases the lower your health. Oh, so basically, like, so basically, if you're near, if you're near death, you can use that to to increase. The health of slam, but something's not going to move back with powerful knee. Shield master over all the rotates to block incoming attacks by holding up their shield. That's a good one. He's done a start. Draw, draw upon the vitality of Indon. Passively regenerate, regenerate recent health loss after a short delay. That's a good one as well. So basically, the red one is for melee combat. The yellow one is for stealth combat. And the blue one is for range combat. So they have certain focuses on each one. When, excuse me, when I first started playing this game, I focused more on the physical combat. So I focus. So I got more of that. I was so, and the other one was my range. And then stealth was a lower part one that I used to focus on. But I tried to equal it out evenly because you get all sorts of different skills for whatever one you have. So it's always good to focus on all of these skills. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to play through this a little bit longer and just have a look for that. But yeah, the Vikings actually came from Norway and basically invaded England. Which um, where local to where I live in Hastings was um, one of the battles of 1066, which was the Saxons versus which was the Saxons versus the Vikings in 1066, where they um, beat um, King Harold, I believe. Um, so, yeah, so, um, and that happened, and that was near me. So, yeah, a little bit of a little fact for you there. And, um, and that was actually quite a well-known battle in the um, war between them both. Um, and then, yeah, I had more. There we go. And then also animals give you leather. Um, if you collect raspberries and things like that, it increases your rations, which is on the side, which I have six, but it's fully upgraded. It's um fully there. And now I lost my pig. The little wolf decided to jump out. Oh, come on, piggy. Big, 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 piggy. Anyway, so... Um... Hey, no, stop that. Come on. Oh, piggy. Come on, piggy. Big, 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 anyway, um, so, yeah, I shall call you babe, um, yeah, so, basically, that's just a little index into what's going on, um, oh, yeah, the one thing I didn't show you as well was my boats, I have a selection of boats, um, so, we have the Norse Gale Bow, we have the Dureka Bow, we have the Ark of he um, Eline, so, basically, as you can see as well, all of the bows have, um, so, we have a Hunter Bow, uh, we have a light bow, a light bow, and we also have the predator bow. My favourite bow is the light bow, so I'm using the Scalard's Wrath at the minute, which increases critical chance when hitting weak points. So, so when you play the game, you will see that certain characters, um, that all character, that all enemies, sorry, have um, hit, have weak points, and when you hit them, um, yeah, you, um, it also does a massive amount of damage, and it also knocks them down, so you can hit them with a um, with a critical strike, as it is called. Um, and then Predator Bow is basically more of like a stealthier bow, where you can come from a distance, and then you can fire it, and then it will go towards the target. And then the Hunter Bow is bog standard. Hunter Bow, you aim, fire, bang. So you can use that in stealth, and you can also use that in the light, in the, uh, you can also use that in stealth, or you can also use that in combat. And also the Hunter Bow is the one that has the most damage when you fire it. So it's always good to do in stealth. Um, as well. I, I prefer to use the Hunter Bow over the Predator Bow in stealth because I think it's better. And then the Hunter Bow is my physical, is my in-combat uh, weapons. And then as you can see, I've also got stars on some of my robes. So when you go to the um, Blacksmith, you can... Um, yeah, so when you go to the Blacksmith, you can go to the Blacksmith and then you can put certain things that you like. So certain attires and stuff. And you can... Um, so whatever you like, so w w the armor I've got at the minute is increases attack after critical hits, additional increase to speed. So I've got that set of armor on, but I was thinking before, if I remember, so if, like this, if you're playing through the day, it's always good to have the Egyptian cloak, because during the day, 
this will increase all of your so this is why i've upgraded loads of them rather than just one um and you can also turn that you can also toggle that on and off if you want the mask on and off um so i've always got this just in case other size i want to uh attack use this during the day and then i have my other one for over night time so yeah So it's always good to have a selection of outfits ready to use at any at your disposal. Um, so then, in, during the day, you incre you increase your attack. For me, uh, that's what I would use. Or there's also some that increases your bow. There's also some that increases your speed. There's also some that increases your defense. There's some that increases when you have um, flame damage on things like that. So there's all types of things. And then I also have all of my um, skills as well. So how do I change it? I forgot how to do that. I've got a skill as well where you can change the swords, which is cool. Is it that one? No. I know it's definitely on this one. Heavy dual world. No. 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 I know it's definitely on the, the warrior side. I could be wrong. Is this one? Oh, dual swap. R2 and R3. So. R2. So that, so you can switch, to, so you can switch what swords you would like to use. There you go. Um, so yeah, so there's a little talk about what's going on, what I've done, bloody, and all of that sort of jazz. So I won't spoil you for the main game. There'll be no story spoilers for the main game because I've completed all of the quests. So all of the things are done. So we're just going to play through some of this just before it, uh, just before. Um, <laughs> Thank you. These boots are new, and I couldn't bear the thought of them covered in mud. Oh, I have your promised tokens, but I think you've also earned the right to choose which god will receive the offering. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Or Defender of Midgard. Oh no, it gives a little um, introduction into what they are. So we have... So we have Freya, which is the Queen of Asgard, the, god, the goddess of, fer of fertility, mother of magic. Freya the bre blesses the brave with plentiful crops and healthy offspring. She favours those who practice magic and, and um, punishes those who convert it. I'm guessing this is Odin. Oh, uh, Baldor. Beloved of all, god of beauty, champion of light. Baldor is a perfection made flesh, and none may resist his natural charms. His goddess is so great, he will sacrifice all to bring about above letter. And then we have Thor, which, if you watch the Marvel films, you will all know who Thor is. He's the defender of Midgard, god of storms, bane of giants. None can match the sheer force of Thor's power and passion. Loud as thunder, and more deadly than lightning strike. Monsters tremble at his approach. Um, so yeah, so we, there's a way, there's a, ah, sorry, everyone, oh. so you can bring out a torch, so me personally, I'm going to do four. You give us the strength to defeat our enemies as we raid. Three big picks, and then I'll acquire, acquire some tokens, or something. Well, that one, let me try, I thought I've got name and dignity. Uh, so... I've only got, how long have I got? I've got two days, 20 hours, 8 minutes and 55 seconds. Uh, play all of. What on earth is that? Um... Oh, here. Oh no, it's the chess game thing. Oh, I really don't like this. a match I didn't know you played I learned it from a Norse merchant and I've become quite good I'd even say I'm the best player <laughs> a bold claim always let's, let's do play this, then. so I'm not very favorite. so I've played this a few times I've won a few times I've got certain cars things like that so basically this game is like Gwen in a way so I have the Freya plenty um, oh I can have that straight away okay 
Um, so yeah, so you can use some of these so you can get you can use four strikes to deal damage So you have the little you see in a minute you have the little blocks um, You have each damage dealt to your opponent heals you so it can heal you with hell's grip and Freya's plenty um, One two how many dice you can have and you'll see in a second What's going on with it? So you see the little pebbles on the left? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead ah, I got to help. Um, so the little pebbles on the side are your life points, and you can't lose them, basically. Uh, roll dice. So we are going to go for the... No, we're not. Um, we're going to go for the shield. We're going to go for this, and we're going to go for this, and then... Confirm, and then we're going to just shake the dice again, see what we get. So we're going to go for this, we're going to go for this, and then we're going to roll the dice again, see what we get. We're going to get that. There we go. Please select a god favour to use or skip. Deal two damage. So we're going to skip. Fair play. Ah, I took my thing. And you see these little gold um, squares as well? They are basically um, to use for your god favours. So it's always good to have them. And then the ones with the little square gold bits are what give you the, um, fate, the um, little gold squares. So it's always good to try and have as many as them as possible. Did we get lucky? Did you get lucky? Ah, I got lucky. Please select a god favour. Roll additional dice this round. Oh, I can deal eight damage. You know what? I might go for that. Ah, oh, he's going straight to attack me. I'm going to take three of your things, and then I'm going to deal eight things of damage. You won't soon recover from you play a bit too well. There we go. So, I'm guessing if we win this, we get some of the points. I'm going to have two of them as well. I know that might, be, I might, I know that might sound a bit silly, but it might be okay. So this looks like I'm going to do a very, a very attacking round for me. Uh, now what? We're going hard. Nice. Defended. Oh, that's it going out. And we're going to take that. Not enough tokens. Uh, nice, nice, nice. That was a good round for him. So we're gonna have that, we're gonna have that, we're gonna have that. Have that. And we're gonna have them, okay. So I can roll an extra dice. I do all five damage. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, nice. I'll take two of yours, and then you take one of mine. But then I'm going to do some damage. And then all I need to do now is do three is do three things of damage, so I might go hard. To be fair. Um, might go hard. There we go, we're going hard. Because if I get three things of damage... Um... Yeah, so it should be fine. Should be fine. And then we won. Well fought. 
That was a close battle. I would like a rematch. Another I want 30 time. tokens for doing it. Nice. I've got 30 tokens. So, where can I go and spend these tokens? It is my design. But many hens help to gather the wood. The guards will favor us when they see the smoke and all the offerings we have collected for them. Speaking of offerings, everyone has gathered their sacrifices and left them for collection at the shrines near the waterfall. Are you about to ask me to... Eivor, you're our leader. Everyone looks to you to set the example both in war and in celebration. Also, you are very strong and <laughs> have a knack for carrying things. So my true value is as a pack horse. Would sure. a pack horse be entrusted with choosing which god receives our offerings? Go and see what people have left at the shrines. Choose only the offering that you think is best and return here. Here we go. So we are now going to do... This, so we're now going to do this one. So let's go and have a look. So we need to choose. So as you can see, Avor gets quite a lot of um. Uh, gets to gets to choose quite a lot of what is said around camp. Oh, you can also change the tree as well. We have a massive tree in the beginning of it, in the middle of the in the middle in the middle of Raven's Fort. And you can choose it to however you want. So I'll have a sage tree, of a white and red tree. White and red tree I like. They're basically like little flags. See that? Um, so basically like a war tree. We have a blooming tree, we have a mossy tree, we have a hangman's tree, so like dead bodies and stuff. We have the gallows tree, again. Uh, we have the berserker rest and we have the yule beech tree. So we're going to have the red and, we're going to have the red tree. That yeah, looks quite cool. Where would this be? Uh, there's a cat. There's a pig. Oh, that pig's got tattoos on it. Okay, so do. A bit, um, a bit wrong, to be fair, in my eyes, but... We say nothing on the matter. Nope. Oh, there's your thing. Okay. And then over here as well, uh, in this camp, I oh know there's a lot of information I'm telling you. So, uh, so in this one here, you can go to Asgard, and um, or you can go you can go to Asgard, or you can go to Jotunheim. So Jotunheim is the realm of the ice giants, where Loki is originally from, but Odin took. Loki from there when he destroyed Jotunheim. Um, so yeah, that's the island of the Frost Giants. Oh, you can go to Asgard where you will see Freya, you will see Loki, you will see Thor, and you will see Odin as well. So um, yeah, um, and then Asgard, as you as you already know, Odin was the king of Asgard, but then it was destroyed because of Ragnarok, um, and that's what technically ended the Norse gods so yeah so you can go there and do like little missions from there as well I can release some fireflies oh, I've got them. can you see one of the fireflies I've already... I haven't got many um, but yeah so you can go there as well so um all of this is all available for for you from the beginning watch out for us as one God to the whole room before which is for it. make the deer fatter and we could do with less walks. Fair enough. Uh, God guides my hands and keeps them covered in flour, not blood. So I want to grow strong and brave like Avar and I want to sort up in a horse. Nice. May the gods continue to provide Norvid. Norvid. Gods watch over Holger and grant us another year. Hey, from may our enemies be driven from these lands, and may time forget them. Some picture. Those for that. May Sven feel my love and know his heart lives in me. May the years be ale, be beautiful and strong. Watch out for us as we are guides to your halls and where we will fall. So I think I'm going to go, I think it's this one, May the Gods continue to provide Northern Roof. Immunity, I want to go strong and brave. 
Gods may hand keep them covered in flour, not blood. May our enemies be driven from these lands and may time to get them. Gods watch over home grant us another year. May the deer pattern we can do their fault. We're going for this one. The dog's following me. Woof, woof, doggy. Woof, woof. So um, we'll do this one, and then I'm going to cut it off. Um, and then I will be back. So again, thank you everyone who's liked, who's commented, who's subscribed. And I hope you do enjoy this new gameplay of um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, so stay tuned and stay locked. And um, there's going to be more videos of that. If you don't like this video, if you don't like this particular game, or don't like the video. Um, then there's always other videos on my channel. So we have GTA Online, which I have been doing. We have Samurai Warriors 5. We also have Watch Dogs Legion Bloodline DLC. We have Rage 2. Um, we have Need for Speed Heat. And there's also, there's another one, but I can't think of the top of my head. Uh, and we also have... I've missed that one. Um, and we also have, and we also have on here as well which is one second I'll let you all know uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales I knew that was one I forget and we also have Spider-Man Miles Morales as well um, so yeah Bring back an offering to sacrifice on the bonfire. Ah! Nope. The offering has been made. Lift your torch and commit our offerings to the god of your choice. So we've done four. I'm going to go for Boulder. I'll talk to the god of your choice. So, oops. No, I don't want to call it. Oh. oh, my life. Come on. No. Oh. Oh. There we go. And we are going to like Boulder, which is over here. We offer this to you, brave Balder. You fill our hearts with courage if we come to distant lands. Now we're going to speak to this lady. Return safely. You've done well, Eivor. You've represented our clan with humility and grace. I know that everyone appreciates all you do for us. You should check in front of people's homes. There might be tokens of thanks waiting for you. Each festival seems to bring with it more. It would appear that Ravenstall is carrying a reputation for our celebration. Oh, we, got, we can change the armor. Let's change our armor. So, like again, so now it's night time. We'll go back to my other armor. Uh, what's that? Increase attack after each kill. Oh, well done. Oh, I don't know why I didn't do it. I don't have the thing. Okay, fair enough. Go for the van brace. Go for the ropes. Then we're going to finish it off with the trousers. Please go and collect the offerings. And then after that, I'll cut the video off. Ooh, 35 tokens, nice. And then I um, will be back to do some more gameplay videos for you all. Also, if you want a quick thing to... Um, 
get um to get your um skills uh your adrenaline up and things like that then go and um uh, uh stealth kill and attack um the dolly the dolls outside the um hidden one outside the hidden ones uh thing each festival seems to bring with it more revelers there we go because i'm feeding the wolf so anyway so i'm going to cut this off here and then i will be back to do another gameplay to do oh and then i will cut, i'll cut this off here to do another and then i'll be back to do another gameplay recording again thank you everyone for liking for commenting for subscribing this all greatly appreciated and i hope you like my new venture into assassin's creed valhalla siege of paris take care guys